Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about eyes animation and the basic concept we need to know to get it right. Very important, even if you want to create cartoony shot or uh, VFX, is to search for some good uh, real uh, reference. It's very helpful and there are so many things we, we need to, to learn and we can learn from it. Most important is um, the blink speed the timing the eyelids go down and up. The so-called eye dart, the way the iris scan around, moves quickly left and right. And uh, also the shapes of the eyelids when the eye itself is closed, which is not 50% down the upper one and 50% uh, up the lower one. We'll see in a moment. And also the organic connection we need to create between the, the parts of, of, the, of the face. So first of all, as I said, it's very helpful to start with some good reference. Of course, if we want to do something very realistic in every reference, we can uh, find uh, tones of things we can uh, we can learn we can try to put in our animation like this one we see all this compression toward the, the inner part of the eye the, the, the center of, of the head if we want there is this kind of stress this way all the motion of, of the pupil and stuff like that. But stepping back to the basic concept of what we need to understand is the way everybody in a normal situation blinks. Starting from the shapes, so we don't uh, close the eyes 50% for uh, each eyelid like every rig probably as as a, as a default. This is a Sigitarian rig, which is very, very good because there's a lot of control we can uh, work with. And uh, it comes with this pose for the eye. So opens, it's okay. But when we put to zero, the, the eyelid up and down, it close in this not right way, as we, we can see, and we already saw a bit, because it's like 50%. What we need to understand that is that the upper lid is always lower, so we can try to do something like that. And maybe keep shaping it a bit more. It is nice detailed controls. Yeah. So if I put this one to zero, by default, the screen right one is much more natural. We can keep going down to have something more realistic if we want, but it's already something better than what we have from the rig. So if we don't uh, take pay attention to the uh, reference, we may just put to zero the position of the eyelid and that's it, which is not always correct. The other things is to try to understand the timing we use to close and open the, the eye. I recorded myself in this short video and uh, I tried to blink in a normal way 
and to move my eyes around to see what happened. And we notice a lot of things. First of all, the the timing, as I said, the timing for the blink, I put a number here and we can see this time at three frames to close the eyes and uh, 15, 16 maybe to open. So way, way slower the, the opening. Let's go to another one to see what happened because we are not machine. We always do something different. And this time I closed in uh, four frames and open slower and slower. There should be another one. Let's count also this one. And this time I close in uh, six frames and opened in uh, around 20. So the, the things to understand here is that the way down when we close is always quicker than the way up. And we can we can try to push it. Now that we know this, this kind of behavior, we can go super detailed with the VFX or we can compress a lot to stylish it if you want to do some cartoony stuff. And uh, but always keeping this kind of uh, relationship between the closing time and, and the opening. Other things nice to understand is the, as I said, the eye dart. And we do in a very specific way. If we do this kind of left and right eye, we do very quickly because the, the motion is very short. So this time is like three frames to go to the new position. And then I stay there a lot and then go back in the three frames. Also here, the same and other right art. Three frames and stay there a lot. Of course, if we change position, point of view, if this distance is bigger, of course, maybe we need four frames. But it's always super, super quick what we do with this change of um, point of view or position of the of the iris. So this is another thing that you need to know. The, the motion itself is quite linear in the eye dart, but sometimes there is a, a kind of is out in the first frame. So little motion, then the big one, the second frame, and then the set also easy in the third frame and a stop. So we have the timing of the blink, the timing of the eye dart. Let's go to the next uh, very important uh, aspect for me in the eyes and face animation, which is the connection between the parts. It's not enough just to blink the eyes and that's it. We need to show the connection between the part. We can see in this blink that when I blink down, there's something happening in my eyebrows. It's like compressed. Because like the eyelids pulls the, the eyebrows. And also when I do this kind of looking up, there is this like push and pull, like the eyelids, the eye motion, like it's pushing away the eyebrows, one, two. It's nice offset, it's nice connection we can show here. And also with these weird things I do with the, with the mouth, we see that the nose is moving, the, the cheek and everything else is connected and moves in this kind of offset. It's, it's interesting to see how flexible we are in the um, in the face. So as I said, even if we want to go super detailed with the uh, animation, so with effect style, let's say, 
or if you want to go very cartoony like this clip we have here for a uh, Ariel Little Mermaid by Glen Keane we can see the same concept for instance this kind of relationship between uh, the eyelids and the uh, eyebrows one after the other the timing of the eyelids this is very steam as i said if you want to do cartoon we have to push this kind of relationship between opening and closing so here the the eye is closing in one frame and it's opening in uh, three maybe so it's always slower the way up And this is once again the eyebrows this time drives the motion then the eyes open once again the opening is lower two frames and uh, as we see is always based on the reference even this super cartoony, old style animation is always based on uh, a real reference. They shoot this actress, which basically did all the animation, all the performance, which we see in the, in the cartoon. Of course, it's stylized, it's simplified, it's pushed because it's cartoon, but the the guide uh, is there. And we can go, it's nice to go to, to search for this kind of artwork they did to really keep learning. And we can find always what we just said about uh, the eyes, of course is the focus of this uh, video closing one frame here and opening two maybe three and we see this face in the actors also here we can see something probably closing two frame opening two frame and maybe keep going up a lot of things we can we can really learn from this back to our little animation I try to to do something based on this reference just to keep learning to try to get the this frantic nervous motion of the of the eyes very interesting uh, how the the eyes moving around scanning stopping keep moving and uh, everything is connected this kind of contraction inside the eyebrows that is moving also some kind of pupil motion which we can see better maybe in this other super slow motion video. And this is what I simply try to do is not polished at all. But with this nice rig, with uh, lots of control, we can uh, We can try to learn, we can try to move, we can try to connect the parts. There should be a comparison between the, the very first blocking, which is the 
this on the bottom, which is okay already. It can work, but what we notice is that the shape of the eye is not the best. It's just a straight line in between of the eye shape. So it's better to go lower to have this, this kind of curved line. It's much more natural. And also the, the relationship between the, the parts. This moment when uh, he looks back to the camera the lower one is is too slow it needs too many frames to go from side to side so we can either go quicker simply or maybe split in two motion like i did in uh, in this video in the top which puts some kind of natural motion And also if you take a look at this control, direct, we see that here down is basically not moving at all. But when we start adding, we see that it is much more organic. There's much more connection also in the eyebrows, which are not in frame right now, but we can see the, the motion. So I hope it helps a bit, just the basic fundamental, which is basically timing, timing of the eyelids, timing of the eye darts, and, um, and, and the shape of the eyelids when it closed. And always try to start with video reference, because even if, once again, working uh, FX or cartoon, there's always something good to learn from it. See you next time.